If you've ever wondered what the difference between hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's was, or if you've wondered, do I have one or do I have both? Or what the heck does this all mean? You're not alone and I've got you covered. This is one of the most confusing topics when it comes to thyroid health. And honestly, I think the medical world kind of makes it a little bit more, I don't know, complicated than it needs to be and also more simple than it needs to be <laughs> because often you're told you have hypothyroidism but are not told that you have Hashimoto's and vice versa. So let's break it down clearly so you understand. So let's start with the simplest part. Hypothyroidism means that you have low thyroid function, that your thyroid isn't making enough hormone or that your body's not using the hormone properly. So hypothyroidism is the state that your body is in. It's like a phone. If it's at 5%, it's basically hypothyroid at that point. It's just not having enough going out. So hypothyroidism is just describing the result. Your metabolism is slower, your energy is lower, your digestion is sluggish, your brain feels foggy, and your body's operating on low power mode. But the important part here is that hypothyroidism doesn't tell you why your thyroid is not producing enough hormone. It can be for several reasons, but this is where Hashimoto's comes in. So Hashimoto's is not actually a thyroid problem. Let's state that again. It is not a thyroid problem. It's actually an autoimmune disease against your thyroid. It means your immune system is misfiring. It's confused and it is accidentally attacking your thyroid tissue. Basically your body has designated your thyroid as a threat and it is sending cells to protect you, but they're kind of getting confused and they're attacking your tissue instead and slowly destroying your thyroid. And when enough damage has happened, then your thyroid just cannot produce enough hormone anymore. And that's where hypothyroidism shows up because you are now hypothyroid. You have low thyroid function as a result of the Hashimoto's autoimmune attack. So if we go back to that phone analogy again, hypothyroidism is your phone being at 5% battery. Hashimoto's is like the charger being broken. It can't charge your phone back up. So then you might wonder, well, which one do I have then? If I was told by my doctor that I have hypothyroidism and he never mentioned anything about Hashimoto's, well, <laughs> you're not alone because most doctors don't mention this. They may say it's autoimmune, but most doctors don't test for Hashimoto's and it doesn't change what they do as a treatment anyway. For the most part, treatment is just giving a thyroid medication to replace that hormone that your thyroid can no longer make. But here's the thing, Hashimoto's, the autoimmune disease, causes the majority of hypothyroidism, especially in the Western world. In fact, there's estimates that it's between 80 and 90% of people that have hypothyroidism have Hashimoto's as the root cause for why their thyroid is running low. But this is also why you may still feel symptoms. If you are on a thyroid medication like Synthroid or Levothyroxine or whatever for your hypothyroidism because your doctor would test TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone, and it may be in range and they say, okay, well, you're great. There's no problem with you. However, the medication does nothing to stop the autoimmune attack against your thyroid. All it's doing is replacing the hormone that your thyroid can no longer make. So that's why you may still feel that fatigue and losing your hair and you can't seem to lose weight or you're gaining weight and all of these other symptoms and things like anxiety and all that kind of stuff that comes with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's because we're talking about two totally different things. Basically, the medication takes care of the hypothyroidism, the low thyroid function, but nothing that your doctor is giving you typically is addressing the actual root cause, the Hashimoto's autoimmune attack against your thyroid. So it's two different problems with two different solutions. So if you really do just have hypothyroidism because it's a glandular issue, or maybe because you're low in iodine, which is very rare, by the way, in Western world, just all of these smaller kind of rare kind of things, well then thyroid medication might be all that you need. But if you have 
autoimmune Hashimoto's, which is most people, then your immune system is on high alert, essentially. And it can cause a whole bunch of symptoms, even if your labs are normal or if you're on medication. And it's because the root cause isn't your thyroid, it's your immune system. And that's why understanding this difference is so important and empowering. And why is that? Because you actually can do something about the autoimmune attack. If you are still suffering symptoms, despite being on medication or told that your labs are normal or whatever, you don't have to just turn over and think that your life is over. You have options. Basically, you have two goals. One is to support your thyroid hormone levels. So you may still need medication. I have to take medication because enough of my thyroid was attacked during the autoimmune attack when I didn't know that I had this. So I need to support that and supplement the amount of thyroid hormone that my body puts out. And then your other goal is to calm the autoimmune activity. Stop the autoimmune attack against your thyroid. This is where things like gut healing, elimination and reintroduction protocols, reducing inflammation, removing hidden triggers, blood sugar balance, stress and nervous system regulation, sleep, reducing toxin load, somatic practices, and emotional support become incredibly important. Your immune system basically lives in your gut and it listens to your nervous system. So that's why diet and lifestyle changes can feel like a night and day difference for somebody living with Hashimoto's. It's not just about food, it's about producing and creating an environment where your body and your nervous system feel safe living in the everyday world. So here's a simple way to remember it. Hypothyroidism means low thyroid function, and Hashimoto's means that your immune system is attacking your thyroid tissue. Hashimoto's causes hypothyroidism for most people, especially in the Western world, but medication only helps the thyroid hormone part, not the autoimmune attack. And this is why so many symptoms continue. If this all makes sense to you, and you really want the quick, I need to fix all of this now, I walk you through how to do this in my program, The Full Body Health Reboot. I'll put a link for that below. But otherwise, just follow me on my channel because I explain a lot of this through all of my different videos because I really want you to understand that you do have the power to change. You have the power to put your autoimmune disease into remission, stop the autoimmune attack of your thyroid, and most likely other tissues in your body. Sorry but you do have that power. And then that will, by doing that, helps to stop the symptoms as well. And if you're interested in seeing this in action, watch this video, because I talk about how I've done this myself and how it's been seven years since I've had any sort of symptoms or anything from my Hashimoto's.